Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, here we have a 2018 cabin cruiser by Gulfstream. This is the 25 BHS. Uh, up front, you have your tongue jack. You have up and down. You have a little light if you're hooking up when it's dark. Uh, you got your safety chains. Uh, you got your seven way plug right here and that'll run your lights and brakes. Then you have a breakaway cable, which is basically an emergency brake cable. Uh, so if this ever came unhooked, that would pull out and lock up the brake so it's not going way behind you um, on the road. You got 12 volt battery up here, and then your propane tanks are under this cover. And you can lift this piece up to turn the tanks on and off, and then to get them filled, just pull the cover up um, you take the pigtails off take the wing nut off and take the tanks off and go get them filled you have your regulator right here which has this lever and that's pointing to what tank is drawing from there is a little window right here right now it's red uh, that's because the tanks are off but that's indicating that there's no gas going through if I were to open this, it goes clear, and that is now saying there's gas going through. So if one tank goes empty, uh, the tank that is pointing to that red window will come back up, uh, and then you can just switch to the other tank. Turn that off. here you have storage and there's magnets on the door to hold it open uh, you got a nice pass-through storage and there is led strip in here uh, the switch is on the other side uh, to turn it on you got a crank right here and that's for the front tongue jack if that stops working uh, if your battery goes dead for some reason or uh, you have a way to crank it up manually uh, then down here you have a stabilizer jack. There's going to be four of these. Uh, there's one on each corner. And these are only made for stabilizing, so you'll level the unit first. Uh, that requires backing up onto blocks to level it side to side. And then unhook and use the front tongue jack for front to back leveling. And once it's leveled, then you'll crank these down. You can put blocks under them so you don't have to crank them as far. Uh, but once they're hitting the blocks or touching the ground, give it half to three quarters of a turn just to put a little pressure on it. You don't want to level them, level the camper with these because they will bend. All right, you got your slide here. Then back here you have your power cord and it just pulls out and then when you're done, you shove it back in. And then when you're using it, you can close this cover to keep the rain out. Then you got cable and satellite hookups. And you got another storage compartment. This one does not have a magnet. It's got a little door holder there. Uh, but a nice storage there. And then down here, you have your sewer outlets. Uh, so on the left will be your gray water. Uh, so that's your sink and shower. And on the right is your black tank, and that's your toilet. Okay, in the back, you have your bumper, uh, your water heater. And this is gas and electric. For the electric, it's just a little switch right here. And the gas, uh, the switch is inside, and it lights on its own. Then you got city water connection. Uh, so that's where you hook up your hose at campgrounds or places with water hookups. Then you have a black tank flush. Uh, when you're dumping your black tank, you can hook up your hose there and it'll help flush out the tank. Then you have a spray port and this is cold water only. And that little hose in the side compartment over there, uh, that goes to that. And so you can spray things off. You got your spare tire back here. 
Then on this side, uh, you got the vent for the fridge and there's a little hose sticking out. That's just a drain for the condensation. Uh, that's the exhaust for the furnace. Just make sure you don't put the picnic table up there or lean any chairs against it if you're using it because uh, that gets pretty hot. Uh, but if obviously in the summertime, you're probably not going to use it. So you can put your picnic table under the awning uh, if you wanted. Uh, you got cable hook up here. So if you wanted to bring a TV out here, you could hook it up there. And then you got outlets here. You do have a USB port. And you do have a TV mount out here. Uh, so you could hang the TV here. You got a couple outside speakers. And then this is the vent for the exhaust fan over the stove. Uh, and then down under here, there's this little blue hose sticking out and there's a valve on the end of it. That is the drain for the fresh water tank. Um, so before you start filling, you want to turn that valve. And then for the winter time, you want to turn it the other way to drain it. All right. Then you have the other side of the storage compartment. And you got the crank for the stabilizer jacks. And then you got the switch here for the LED lights. And then there's another switch and that'll turn these little lights on up front. And this unit is also prepped for solar charging. Um, and that'll be for like a portable solar panel. Um, so you just have to, if you want to do that, you have to get a ZAMP one. Uh, Cause that's what this is wired for. And the portable ones are nice cause you can point it to wherever the sun is. Uh, now we'll go inside. Alright. So, uh, this is called the cabin cruiser. So you got the wood grain kind of finish everywhere. Kind of make it feel like a cabin. Uh, which is, I kind of like this model. Uh, but to the left, when you walk in, you got a couple of switches. Uh, so this one's going to be your ceiling lights. Uh, this one right here is for the LEDs under the awning. And then the middle one, you have lights in the speakers. Um, so you got lights all around. And then a uh, switch for your awning, you have in and out. And then your slide room switch, same thing. And for the slide, you just press and hold it uh, until it stops. And for the awning, you do have to watch it while rolling it out. There'll be a valance that'll fold down. And once you see that, just let off the switch. If you keep holding it, it will roll up backwards. Uh, most of the time it doesn't cause damage, but you don't want to take that chance. And then rolling it in, you just press and hold it until it stops. Down below, there's a couple more switches. Uh, this one, you have some lighting under the counter right there. And then this one, there's a light uh, for the step. You can actually see the reflection when I turn it on and off. Uh, so your steps can be lit up at night. All right. Uh, we'll start in the bedroom. Uh, so there's two doors to access each side because uh, it is a little cramped in here, but it's nice and cozy. All right, so the bed, uh, you do have storage underneath, uh, a lot of storage actually. And these are uh, supported by struts, so you don't have to hold it up with one hand and reach for stuff with the other. And then you got a light on the ceiling uh, you have to manually turn on. And there's two modes, so you got kind of like a dim mode, and then you got a bright mode. You got TV hookups here, and there's already a mount there. And then on each side of the bed, there's another light and USB port on this side. 
And then there are outlets uh, next to each bed side. And then you got your closet space. And you got some storage up here, which is this entire thing is all storage. Turn that off. Uh, so that's the bedroom. Now we'll be in the kitchen living area. Uh, so you got your booth dinette seating here. Uh, your table you can lift up and put the poles down and then uh, your table uh, will just sit on this blocking right here. And then you can put the cushions over it and that makes into another bed. And you got a nice little light fixture uh, to light up over the table. Then in between the doors for the bedroom, you got your entertainment center. Uh, so you got your radio and it's also your DVD player. You got your spots for TV hookups and another TV mount already. And you got storage down below and up above. So this unit uh, is not lacking in the storage uh, department, um, which is really nice uh, when you're camping. Uh, more storage, the better. Um, and then the kitchen area, you got a dual basin sink, and these covers right here uh, give you more countertop space if you're cooking, and these are also more like a cutting board material, so you can use these for cutting boards, uh, but you get a big basin right there, and then you have a littler one right there, and a light above the counter, and you do have outlet and usb port there storage below and above again and then right here you got a little uh table that folds up for some more countertop space if needed three burner cooktop and then you got your oven your light and fan for over the stove and then just a regular microwave Next to the stove, you have your monitor panel, and so this will keep track of how full your tanks are and how charged your battery is. All you do is just press these buttons, and it'll tell you how full they are. And then it also has a switch for your water pump, so if you're dry camping uh, using your portable water tank, you'll turn that switch on and it'll pump from that tank to all your faucets. Then you have your fridge uh, and freezer. Uh, so your freezer up here, and then your fridge. And to use it, it's pretty simple. You got two buttons up here. Uh, this one's gonna be your on off button. And then this one will control what mode you're running off of. Uh, with it pushed in, it's on auto. And that's looking for electricity first. If you're not plugged in or lose power, uh, it'll automatically switch to gas uh, if your propane tanks are on. And then if you're plugged in but only want to run on gas, you can hit that button and it'll light right on gas. And then turn it off. And then across from the fridge, you have more storage. Uh, so you got little hanging area and these shelves are movable. So if you had like longer jackets or whatever, you could pull these out and put them on the bottom. Or if you needed to adjust the storage, you can put it up there and it's adjustable is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, and then you got some more storage on here. Then you got the bunk areas, uh, and each bunk has a light right here, and another one right there. And the top one does have a USB port. And then next to the bunk right here, this is your thermostat. So you have your mode button right here, so you just press this. Uh, the first one is a fan setting. Uh, you want to leave it in auto uh, if you're using the air conditioner or furnace. Uh, but if you just want to circulate some air, you can turn this to high and low. And that will just turn on the fan in the air conditioner. 
and then press again you got cool and then you got your furnace and then off and then the arrows are to change the temperature setting and the last room is your bathroom which is actually a pretty decent size uh, so you got your sink here with some countertop space uh, light switch to the right and then below that this is the switch for your water heater and for the gas so you just flip that down this light will come on once it's lit that light will go out um, and if it doesn't light that light will stay on uh, that way you know if it's lit or not say you lose uh, run out of propane and it stops goes out it'll tell you if it's not running uh, there's a little toothbrush holder right here uh, a little towel ring then you got your medicine cabinet and there is another little shelf here you got storage under the sink uh, a little spot for a trash can or whatever some more storage right here which is pretty deep and more storage here which is pretty much the length of the shower uh, so lots of storage in the bathroom and then you got your tub and your shower with a nice little skylight which lets in some natural light then you got your vent right here you can crank it open and turn on your fan to let the steam out and then your toilet you just have a little foot pedal right here to flush it so you just step on it and it'll flush it for you uh, so that is everything to do with the 2018 cabin cruiser 25 mb8 or bhs I hope you guys enjoy this unit and thank you for shopping at Magleson RV.